Welcome to the se Unknown Secrets of Stevo Website Analysis. That's when we um, analyze your website for two things. How does it, how is it optimized for search engines, SEO, and how is it optimized for visitors, search engine visitor optimization? How do you get this Stevo Website Analysis? You go to uh, our website, e-webstyle.com, fill out the free website analysis on the right side, um, hit submit, we'll get it, and then we'll analyze uh, your website. Uh, today's lucky website analysis is for uh, Shop Pet City and that's uh, Shop Pet City um, is their site. Um, it's an e commerce site. Um, they, it's apparent they sell pet supplies. What's not apparent uh, when you first look at the site is what their focus is. The header um, is dog dominated, and so, but when you look at the categories, you notice they have birds, they have cats, dogs, fish, reptiles, small animals. And so, I think this header. This banner image that takes up so much real estate should really be have images of all those animals. So if I happen to land on this homepage, which somebody probably won't, but if they did and they had, let's say, a parrot, um, a bird should be represented here, especially since um, you have a category for it. Now, with most e-com sites, you probably run into typical issues, duplicate content, um, things like that. As we begin to scroll down and look at it, um, we noticed that most of these products, they're kind of thrown in. They don't really have any organization to them. Um, and some they lack some of the other features that most successful e-com sites have, like um, discounted prices, free shipping, um, things like that that just aren't vague and in your face so people could be encouraged to, uh, to shop. So that's visitors, and we'll get into visitors some more. But looking at SEO, some other things are wrong. Or when you look at your, your domain name, so it defaults to .com slash index .php, um, which, which is, you know, a technical kind of server-related deal. But your homepage also comes without the slash index .php. That's a big no-no. You should have, uh, whether it's dub 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 or non dub 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 or slash home or slash index or whatever it is, should all direct to one particular URL. That way any links you build could get that link juice and then you won't be spreading link juice across multiple domain names or multiple URLs. So let's look at one of your categories. So if we go to dogs, back to your conversion optimization, your C vote. So if we look at dogs, um, there's tons of categories. These should probably be um, associated with complementary images. Um, and then you have products. What's missing from this page from a search engine perspective is content. Content specific to pet supplies for dogs. If we scroll up, maybe a good thing to have above this categories is maybe a couple paragraphs about pet supplies and dog pet supplies in Houston, if that's your target. Uh, and so I would, I would work on improving that. And if we look at one of the products, let's say like the first one, the, the two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, um, several things wrong with this page. One, from a search, from a visitor um, conversion perspective, they're not going to search two-in-one shampoo and conditioner. Not for a dog, that could be used for a child, for, for a grown person, for a pet, um, and, and, uh, for carpet. And so you need to really indicate that this is for a pet. Not only is it for a pet, but since this is your dog shampoo, this should say two-in-one dog shampoo or dog shampoo and conditioner. Oh, Make magic. Sure. Coat. Magic Coat, which is the brand name. So if you're not going to go after the generic term of dog shampoo, then go after the brand name, Magic Coat dog shampoo and so that way you can take advantage of um, people who may shop by a brand name people who may be uh, familiar with that product um, some other things um, so back to the SEO perspective we began looking at this page and trying to figure out why another reason it wouldn't rank and um, if you look at the related products you see tons of other products um, some of them are related shampoo but then you get into cages and crates and fences and uh, a pet stroller, these aren't related products at all. Yes, they are pet related, but your whole site is pet focused. These products should be number one, focus on dog shampoo. And the reason being is because it confuses the search engine. If we go to SEO Quake, which is our favorite uh, uh, plugin, works with Chrome or Firefox to help us analyze a website, it's clear what, what Google would, will envision about your site. Um, they see a tons of words, over, over a thousand words on this page. But if we scroll down and look at some of the combinations, it's all add to cart, Esprit, add to cart magic, 
um, at the cart stage. And so all Google is really indexing um, is, to, let's go back to the site so we can make it clear. Um, um, well, the only thing Google is really indexing is add to cart and these different names, they're not, they're not for this page. They're not showing anything related to pets, dogs, or shampoo. And that's because this page, which is for shampoo, does not have any dog shampoo content. And so you, I would encourage you to come up with a paragraph or two for each one of your products. So we began doing some other searches about the company. We went to Google, we searched up Pet City Houston. I wanted to make sure you would rank for that, um, and you did. What was interesting was I saw shoppetcityhouston.com, um, which is the domain name we were currently analyzing, but then petcityhouston.com came up. I knew it was the same name, so we clicked on that, and it took us, it answered another question. I wonder if he has a brick and mortar building, and you do. This site um, um, is, is, is really bad. Um, I can tell that it's kind of old. I can tell that uh, it's built on, uh, on some older technology um, with the image nav and things like that that are just not really used today. Um, but you do have a sliding image. Navigation is prominent. Um, you have a great variety of animals. So in those aspects, it actually is better than the old site. What you should do, and this is my recommendation, our eWeb style recommendation, merge those two sites. Let's send people to one place where you can do one set of optimization, have all of your products, feature your store, show your images, contact information, and everything all in one place. And so that way you won't have to dedicate tons of energy to optimizing and sending traffic to different places. Um, you have, you're doing great with social here. Um, I would improve that by maybe um, uh, making, giving people the option to like things and share these things um, um, directly on the site and not clicking away from the site to do that. Um, yeah, so we look at this, this is SEO Quake uh, for, for Pet City Houston. And so this is another indicator um, of how old the site is. Um, keyword stuffing and your meta keywords, um, first off, those aren't, aren't even valued anymore. Um, um, Houston Puppies for Sale, 1960, Pet Dog Supplies, Exotic Animals Store. Um, keep in mind, this title is what shows up in the search engine result. That's the first opportunity to really start selling your client. And so it's also one of the most important um, um, attributes to search engine optimization. That title should say um, Houston Pet Supplies. Doing. Maybe North Houston Pet Supplies, since you're kind of on the north side of Houston. Um, your description should be simple and right to the point. Pet supplies for sale in Houston online or in store, right? Because they, you have both options. Um, and then when we look at some of the other stuff, only 255 words on this page. Um, not bad, but most of the phrases are Pet City or City Houston. Um, you know, Pet City Houston. These are, these are brand name, company name words. And nobody's really going to search for you for Pet City. They're going to search for dog shampoo. They're going to search for, you know, dog carrying case or things like that cat litter box or whatever it is. And so you want to make sure that you have those phrases in your content. Um, this was the last thing we looked at. So this was the robots file um, for, for the Pet City Houston site. We were trying to figure out, you know, why it was ranking and what was going on. And so basically what you're looking at is this is telling Google what to index and what not to index. And so you're telling Google Bot don't display any images from this site. Maybe that's done on purpose. Maybe these are client images. Maybe these are, well, so, so for some reason, you don't want these images shown. And um, you should show them if you can. Um, a lot of people do image searches. That's a great way to get additional traffic to your site. And frankly, like I said earlier, if all of your products were on this same site, then all of your products could also be included in that image search, which would um, help boost product sales. Um, so let's go back to, to, to um, yeah, here. So in, in closing, I would say um, get some more content for your categories. You have birds, cat, dog, fish. I would consider developing landing pages for each one of those categories and really optimize those pages for your terms. And then sprinkle in your products, the related products, and, um, and make them easy to find. Um, other than that, I would add some contact information, make it easily visible, and it's a shopping cart, free shipping, um, you know, or, or shipping free after such and such, or a 10% discount, um, 
coupon codes. I mean, those are the things that make online shopping carts effective. So I would take advantage of that. That was a CVO website analysis for uh, Pet City Houston. Um, they went to eWebStyle.com, filled out the free website analysis on the right side, and we analyzed their website. You can get yours too.